Yes, well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. The upcoming Netflix original film, The Highwaymen, tells the untold story of the Texas Rangers who brought down the infamous criminals known as Bonnie and Clyde. The crime drama stars Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner, and here is a sneak peek. What do you plan to do about Bonnie and Clyde? We will capture them. Write that down and underline it twice. There's only one man who can take them down. I'll come back. Hey, you got room for one more? Not even packed. Ah, Judas Priest, get in. This is 1934. Gangsters, submachine guns. And you put cowboys on Bunny and Clyde? Texas Rangers. And joining us now is the director of Highwaymen, John Lee Hancock, and screenwriter John Fusco. Welcome, gentlemen, to Great Day Washington. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Congrats. I mean, this is such an amazing story. I want to start with you, John Lee. I read that you started on this project more than 12 years ago, and you originally had two other leading men in mind. We did. Actually, John wrote it 16 years ago, wow. and I've only been involved 13, so I'm the newcomer. Okay. <laughs> um, but when I came on board, Robert Redford and Paul Newman were attached, and Paul's health uh, was declining in some ways, and so it became obvious he wasn't going to be able to do the movie. So. Mm -hmm. We moved from there, and it almost came together several times, but now it came together the right way. It came. I Woody mean, Harrelson Kevin and, and Woody. Kevin Costner together yes. oh, are yeah. For the first time, yes, they are amazing. Yeah. This is their first time doing yes. a movie together? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yep. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it. I mean, you would think that we've seen this duo because they're mm -hmm. so oh, good yeah. together. And, and John... We've heard the story of Bonnie and Clyde so many times, mm -hmm. but this is different. You, you wanted to take a different take on this. Yes, and we, we flipped the perspective on the Bonnie and Clyde legend. And, you know, going back to the Great Depression, they became um, romanticized Robin Hood figures, you know, because people, you know, they, were, they wanted to read about sports heroes and movie stars and flashy gangsters. And this image was kind of projected onto them. But in truth, and when I did research into who they really were, um, they were, uh, you know, killers right. uh, on the run, and they had, had, had killed, um, you know, ten law officers, three civilians, and they weren't stopping. Um, that the story of the lovers on the run has just been something that's been retold and revisited, <laughs> yeah. and continues to fascinate. Uh, the the ambush that finally stopped their their reign of terror has always been controversial, but no one's ever really explored who those lawmen were and what was going on with them, the, the terrible gift that they had of being um, mm. manhunters from another era who were finally the only ones to stop them. So I researched the story of Texas Ranger Frank Hamer, tracked down his son, who was still alive, oh, wow. and to get his blessing to tell that side of the story. And, you know, it's it's... It, they're the ones that they that should be celebrated and said it's been Bonnie and Clyde. And even if you've heard the story, seen the movies, even in your movie, just the fans exactly. quote of Bonnie and Clyde. And the, it, no matter who they they're killed, what they did. With yeah. songs, and you always hear about Bonnie and Clyde as these yep. depression era um, heroes who stick it to the man. Mm -hmm. But these two guys, who Woody and Kevin play, they come out of retirement to yeah. go and catch Bonnie and Clyde. Tell us about that. Well, uh, J. Edgar Hoover and, the, and, and what was to become the FBI had been chasing Bonnie and Clyde around for two years with newfangled technology and, and, and to no avail. And when Frank Hamer hit the road 102 days later, the, the story was over. Wow. Now, of course, we mentioned Woody Harrelson, Kevin Costner, but Kathy Bates oh, is yeah, in it. Yeah. I mean, she's <clears throat> she's just, she's Kathy Bates. Yeah. Yeah. Now, her name is Ma Ferguson in the film, <laughs> and she's the governor. And yes. I'm thinking, what a strong woman yeah. Oh, yeah. in a strong uh, movie. Oh, she's the best. I mean, I, I talked to Kathy when we were doing The Blind Side together. I talked to her about this role in this movie. And so when it was announced that it was being made, I got a call from Kathy and said, How's my part? And I said, it's good. I'm going to call you next week and we'll, we're back together. Get the band back together. That's how you seal the deal. I'm taking notes. It's women's yeah. history. How's oh, my yeah. part? How's my part? Yeah. <laughs> well, Ma Ferguson was such a colorful character in Texas, the first lady governor in Texas. Mm -hmm. And um, she was uh, just a force to be reckoned with. And she collided with the Texas Rangers at that, at that time. 
And so it's really, it's an interesting dynamic that we explore. Well, I love too that, I mean, this movie is, it's in limited theaters, but it's going to be on Netflix. Mm -hmm. what, what was the decision kind of behind, you know, instead of having this big theater opening, but getting Netflix is the thing now. The streaming is the thing now. Well, first and foremost, we wouldn't be here but for Netflix. Because right. Because Netflix said yes. And nice. We, and we answered that sounds good. <laughs> uh, but I think it's also kind of great that we had uh, in limited theaters opening last weekend, wider this weekend. So there is a theatrical experience yes. as well for this, not unlike it's the Roma model in mm -hmm. some ways. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so, but I, it's also incredibly exciting that on the 29th, uh, people in D.C., people in my hometown of Texas City, Texas, and people, you know, in in Guadalajara, Mexico, can all watch it at the same yes. exact time. Same and exact they can time. be tweeting on social. Turn your surround sound on. Right. Thank yeah. you so much. I, I know that you're from Texas. I read mm -hmm. that you spent some time uh, traveling through Texas in your youth oh, yes. as well. Yes. And this film has uh, parts in Texas and other neighboring states. Louisiana. Louisiana yes. and mm -hmm. whatnot. So you really know the, the battleground that happened. Well, we, we actually, John Lee and company, filmed on the exact road exact spot where the wow. ambush happened and it was so chilling to be there at that spot so when you see it in the movie it's exactly where it happened that's where it happened so now you have to see it <laughs> make sure you check out the high one the highway men in limited theatrical release and on netflix march 29th we'll be back with more great day after this